well, first of all, it's so good to see you. Yeah, Truly. Really. And it was so amazing getting a chance to watch the movie and see you in it and see how wonderful yeah. you are in it. Yes, yes you. Me. Uh, yes, you. 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 Me. Yes, you. And then also to see, to see your work. Yeah. Um, just incredible, man. Incredible yeah. work. Well, well done. I, and thank you. How did you feel when you saw the movie, Christian? I had seen a lot of the dancing already because right. thank God we had a director who was interested in the dancing. So he sent me the dance like, okay, what needs to be fixed? That's so, I had, so the dancing, incredible. yeah. Mm. And uh, Brian had sent me that and I'm really appreciative that we had him who was interested in the dance or it wouldn't have been what it was. It wouldn't have been right. a dance. So seeing it, um, I was happy. But I want to start with what were you expecting initially? And was it anything different? Did it turn anything different? Was it exactly what you expected? Monique? Can, no. can I say something? I, you no, go, I, have, go, go. I have plenty to say on this, but yeah. I, feel like, I feel like we have well, the same, when same I, stories. Yeah. For, for me, when we first started and I read the script, it just said dance number. Yeah. I, I didn't realize, especially for Marley's character, um, I didn't realize I'd be in numbers. I thought I'd be doing like a little groove. And so I was not aware. Uh, um, and I remember the first time I saw, um, I think it was Chad and Melissa do the, your dances, your dance together. And we heard, because we had heard the music. We had heard the music without the choreography. Without the choreography, we were like, okay. Cute. Once we saw the choreography, we both got so emotional because we re like chills, goosebumps. We're like, oh, this is what it's gonna be. And it every time we saw new choreography, it was that we're like, oh, we were not expecting this. And it was just so beautiful. And I just have to say, Christian, you had such a good handle on everybody for the circumstances. There were we were doing it all over Zoom in quarantine, <laughs> um, with shoddy service over, you know in 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 Barry in tiny rooms in tiny <laughs> tiny rooms with a tiny mirror um you had a handle on all the kids um you never lost your patience and even for me like on on just a personal note I was going through a lot of physical health issues um and movement I had just started moving again and um you were just so patient with me and also I felt like you pushed me and it was such a pivotal moment in my healing to know that I'm like oh I'm capable of this again mm -hmm. um so all of that that's what I wasn't expecting that and it was so much more than I could have ever imagined so we heard the music without the choreography and when we saw it it was so energized because this the the song is a is a is a beautiful song but you found the the language and the music of the highs and the lows and the fasts and the slows and you the, those moments that are not in your face in the music you brought them out yeah and and that was really impressive and that was where i know for me going into this i was not expecting much i knew it was going to be about the, the 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 romantic relationship um and that dance was just going to be a backdrop and it was going to be cute i didn't know i'd be so taken care of mm. until we started working with you and started to see what you were actually doing and it was like oh no no, no we're we're re we're actually doing a dance movie <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, similarly, I don't think, I think in my mind, um, I imagined some sort of like, like theater dance type situation that um, I don't really think I gave it much thought because I, I think had I, it would have like made me more nervous or, or like overthink it. And I remember also we all listened to the music and we were like, oh, like this is, this is, a, this is a good song. Like, 
you know, but I, I it, it didn't, it wasn't at all what I imagined the music for this to be. And that first time that I saw the dance, I was, I felt honored. I felt like, I felt like Chad and Melissa looked like us. And it, it felt like you, it honestly just felt like you cared about us. It felt like you cared and you, you took the time to, and I, and I would love to hear from you about like what your process was, but it felt like you took the time to know who you were putting choreography on. And it almost felt like you saw kind of like where those limits, like what we had done. And then you just pushed it a little bit further, like, and to where, when I saw it, I was like, kind of scared. Like when I initially saw the choreography, I was like, you want us to what? But then the part of me that when I see these movies and, you know, am sitting at home going, oh, I wish that someone would ever pick me, but they never will because I won't be able to make it through an audition and look like these people. Like I, I won't, I won't land that, um, but I know I can do it. It just made me just want to be the best I could be and to really rise to the choreography because there was just so much integrity. There was so much storytelling as well within the choreography. It wasn't, it wasn't choreography for the sake of showing off or um, just like arbitrary. It, it really felt like it was intentional. It was intentional to Lucy and Barrett and their history. It was intentional to Corbin and myself. It was an in, it was intentional to every single person involved. It it really made sense. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice to hear. I mean, it's overwhelming and, and nice to hear your thoughts. When people are are working with me, I want you to feel empowered and beautiful and strong and comfortable. And my yeah. main thing is that I think I'll say with working with another male Corbin, what I appreciated was that you come in and there wasn't like, you know how men can be like, okay, you, when there's another man, mm. it wasn't that competitive stuff. Just being here, it's like, you're, you're, you are playing with her. Who got, like, okay. you know, you think about it, it's just, you probably know, so like Gene Kelly modeled himself after athletics. Mm -hmm. So I want you to think just a little heavier okay. with your movement because for us, it, when you need to be light, be light. But when you need to be heavy, it's mm -hmm. more attractive to the lane. Okay, makes sense? So this, yeah. boom, 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 that, yeah. Like, uh, uh, yeah. That. It was, it was open. You know what, you, you know your abilities, you're humble in it. You may not, and I've heard you say, you guys don't take yourself seriously, but you take your work seriously, both. Absolutely. So your work, so, if there's an intelligence and integrity. So for me, working with two people of color, I want you empowered. Now, anybody, it doesn't matter who I'm working with, but it's like, you know, to succeed. Yeah. And then I met Sasha and Sasha was like, well, I dance. I'm like, well, yeah, you, you, you can dance and you're going to dance. And it was just to find things to make. It's not about making things super hard. It's about making you shine. You guys know my favorite shot, by the way. <laughs> Literally. Little Beyonce shot is one of my favorites, but. Oh, I love you. Um, I know how nerve wracking it can be. And I want, when I'm with you, I want to feel like this, you know? And what a gift that is. Because to the same point that you were making about Corbin and sort of that masculine energy, yeah. you know, that, that can kind of puff up. It's the same where, I wanted to do a great job for you because I felt like you cared about us in a way that made me want to see who I could be through, because I was able to see myself through your eyes. I didn't see myself coming into, I, I, I am very much like Lucy. I did, when I came into this project, I didn't see myself as someone that you would say, oh, she's a dancer. In, if anything, I would think the opposite. I was kind of like, oh, you know, I, I, I hope I can keep up. And I did feel so empowered. I felt, I felt beautiful and strong and capable and like, oh, exactly who you are is enough. And that is not 
that's a very rare feeling. I, I think people don't take the time to really kind of give a shit about your mental health and your mental your mental capacity and process. And then because of that, you leave sometimes having accomplished the goal, but feeling a little bit broken and not really wanting to show up to it again. I left this and I just, I want to be better than I've ever been. I'm, I want, I'm stretching again. You know, I, I want to keep expanding and growing because I know I'm capable and I'm, and I'm seeing dance differently because of the way you made me personally feel about it and the, and the way you made me feel about myself. You know, I feel like you, in a way you broke a spell, you know, it, it's like we, we have this filter and this lens that we see ourselves through. And I don't believe that we need validation in a sense, but we do need confirmation. We do need to, and, and as people of color, we are so often overlooked, discarded, or treated as if our exceptional talent, just like we just wake up like this. This was like, no, I see you. I see your insecurities. Um, and I'm going to challenge those insecurities, but I'm not going to shame you for having them. I understand where they came from, but we don't have time for that, ma'am. <laughs> so, get your, so get your butt down and pick your leg up and keep it moving. And I was just like, it was like, your, I, I imagine like, your mama might be like that because it felt like, it felt like mama energy. Like, In these instances, you have to be, it's about the the work and getting it done, but there's also a level of, you know, you, you, nur nurturing that has to that has to be done. I expect a lot out of my choreographers mm -hmm. because it's a different relationship than a director. There, there is something to be said for a director that can almost get out of the way. Um, whereas with choreographers, though, I find it's a much more symbiotic relationship. It's a it's a much more um, hands on relationship. I need my choreographers one to know what they're doing, which for you to have such a short period of time and to have such a hold on the tone, on the on the direction, on the style, on the on the actual steps. Um, but I also need my choreographers to be very adaptive. Um, and you you do exactly that. You you in the moment are able to go, okay, well let's adjust. That doesn't work on you. Let's do what what can we do? Ego the, didn't get in the way. Ego, exactly. Yeah. And and you talk about me as the a male coming into the, it's I it's I find it's the same thing. Even with your time constraint, you every day showed up in that room with a direction of what where it needed to go and said and and gave that to us it always felt like you wanted me to look good you wanted us to look good so in this environment it's like you guys were doing a movie yay you're blessed with these parts. You're blessed that we're getting to do what little kids are watching and they're like, I wanna do that. So once we, when we get to that place where I can't, I won't, this is where you exactly where you wanna be. And that's what we have to remember. And as a choreographer now, I'm cognizant of the people that made me feel good and the ones that didn't. Now, some of the ones that empowered me the most were some of the most, they weren't mean, they were stern. I like authoritative teachers. I, I want the energy and what I give you to be positive, enriching. And it's not from a, it's not from a, a vain point, but that's what you want to leave, you know, you want to leave people with.